Thank you so much for joining me. This is Game Edge. We are back in Stranded Deep, right? So great. Thank you so much again for the support. If you guys hit the like button, it's always appreciated. And now with the new graphics card, this is the optimal ultra levels we could possibly get. And graphic-wise, uh, the fire still comes up a little weird. Uh, I think that's something they need to work on for sure. I don't like the, the way it, it finalizes. I thought it was my graphics card, but it isn't. I did do a little sleep. I just went over here and pressed this little button over here, and I did sleep. Uh, and I meant to do it on video, but you know, it's, it's okay. Oh, look at that. Beautiful startup colors of day. That's perfect. We are thirsty as hell, and this thing is not collecting as much water as I expected. Um, again, that's that's really disappointing because I was expecting to pick up a little more, and there's nothing here. So again, there's those drops here across the board. These are the drops you're going to look for. So for now, we're going to drop these. We're going to go back and look for some more coconuts. I guess we're going to have to really rely on that until that thing's filled up a bit. Um, I haven't never seen it rain here, so that's going to be something that'll be interesting. What did this say? Fisk, ficus, ficus tree, right? So we, we take down ficus tree. Does ficus tree come down? It does come down. Well, I wasn't expecting that, actually. <laughs> she does come down. All right, so we're going to do, though, we're going to end up just getting a couple of coconuts. That's really our main plan, not to drink and do all the other stuff. Um, you can go up as high as you want. Just got to find the right one. It has, there we go, a couple of coconuts. I just walk up to it, and we just press straight ahead, and boom, we just walk up. All right, we'll grab one of these. And I can't go around the coconut tree, so if there's one on the other side, I can't see it. Uh, but I can't grab it either, so I have to go all the way down. Do not drop down. You can actually break your leg. And I don't know how to fix that right now because we need cloth and stuff, and that's not something we have right now. So it's okay. Uh, there's one really close by. That's nice. I like this level. That's nice. She's a nice. She's nice. All right. What the hell's up with that sound of walking now? There we go. That's that's over with. That was weird. It was like as if the coconut part of it was still going on. Right, so let's get this done really quick. So we want to get in the ocean and try out a new cell, but we shouldn't try yet. So I haven't even tried it off camera. Well, we did try it for like a little second, but it doesn't really count. It doesn't really count. Three. Oops. Am I actually hitting it down? There we go. Drinkable. All right. Let's pick it up. Oops. Let's just drop the wood all over it. That's a great idea. I meant to press the other button, but you know what? I'm not perfect, and that's never going to happen. So, okay, so let's open up this menu. It doesn't have the grayest, but let's drink it. That's how it drinks it. It sounds like we're eating. All right, so let's just look at our watch. That did pretty much nothing. And how are we doing on hunger? Uh, Health-wise, we're okay. We got some sleep. Uh, Hunger-wise, not so perfect, but it's okay. We'll actually just drop this over here. It'll be our future food. And that's a spoiled coconut. All right, half. That's too bad. It doesn't make a difference. I don't think the mechanism's in here. It is in here. All right. Well, it's good to know. Look, he's vomiting. That's that's great. So do not do that ever. Um, all right. The health didn't go down too much. So that kind of sucks that we did that. But it's okay. It was a good lesson. Uh, don't crack them open or don't do anything until you're 100% sure you're going to eat them. I'm not sure if it, how long it lasts when they're actually just left like that as a drinkable. Probably a lot longer. But it's all right. All right, let's look at the hunger meter now. We should be full. Thirst meter is still high, so we're going to have to crack a couple more of these. And uh, hopefully get our, our butts in gear, and this will be enough. Oop. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Open this up. Boom. All right, there's another one done. Let's drop that over here. And uh, we'll do another one because at this point, I don't think it's going to be uh, anytime soon we're going to see any water in that thing. So it did show up. We did get one drop. I'm not sure how it works. I thought the humidity from the area would have been enough, but it doesn't seem to be. All right, let's drink this. There we go. Well, let's drop these here. We'll probably have loads of these things, but let's just look at F. And yeah, our water went up. So it's not bad. Two coconuts. We've got two more back. Uh, we'll drop everything we don't need here. I'll drop everything because we don't be stuck with anything that's not useful okay so it's Q press Q with tons of stuff there uh, the knife I don't know if I should bring the knife I know that the lighter I can leave that over here but I'm scared to lose it uh, can you imagine if we don't ever I don't trust the game enough I don't so we're gonna leave ourselves with these main slots uh, we need the compass just to make sure we get our butts back and that's gonna be our plan here so th these are gonna be fine that's fine we'll just head out right away and hopefully we can find something quite interesting on the other islands. Uh, you never know. Uh, again, there's also wrecks and stuff we can look for. Uh, not sure if we'll go straight for an island or not, but we'll double check it. Um, how can I make sure we know that we are here? 
I'm gonna grab that tire. Can't grab it. I think I have no nothing in my hands that could work. Yeah, I dragged this before. There we go. Thank you. Just for us to tell us our base was here. Uh, as we come around the island, we go, oh, this is it. Because it's pretty far in, so. And since there's no tide sequence where it's actually going to pull up and take it, we're, we're pretty safe. All right, so our goal is to hit this. Uh, we should be able to get out with this. Do we have to find a way to... Okay. Can I push this? Oh, wait. I can actually pull up at you. Wait, okay. Oh, animation issues. Let's pull it. Let's just drag this baby into it. Look at the water. A lot more pristine with a high-end graphics card, that's for sure. Uh, we can check underneath. Looks very nice. It's still... Well, like then again, if you're looking underneath the water, that would be it. I hope they introduced that I can stay underwater a little longer. And uh, hopefully some clothes, too. would be nice. All right. We got our sail on. Let's turn this baby around. Turn, turn, turn. Radius, turn. Oh, yeah, shadow is working. That's pretty good. All right, we're going to go straight ahead. Uh, I'm not even sure if that is the right way or not. I tell you the truth, I don't have a clue. Just want to make sure we're not hitting any rocks and looking down. All right, there we go. Ahoy! It's a lot faster going like this, that's for sure. Now, there used to be sharks in this game, and it used to be able to... Oh, rain. That's good news. So, remember we said we didn't know if there was rain? If there is rain. That is very, very good. Again, the fog can pull in, so we have to be careful. Now, this is a lot faster than rowing. We should be able to get there. Now, there's no high waves or anything like that so far. That'd be pretty cool if they ever had rogue waves and uh, storms that would come in and bellow out. But again, the fog can come in and screw us up. So we really have to try and keep this ship a little more in tune. I have to start looking at what we're doing here. I think it's actually easier if I do it from the other side, but I don't know if it would work. The sail. Would it work if I press the other way? No, it does not work. No, that really is a forward area. Okay, let's not lose our way because the fog in here, I've had it before where the fog, I couldn't see anything. So let's not do that. It's not the easiest thing to control, I'll tell you right now. If you look at me going, Jesus, brother. Uh, yeah, it isn't. It's really not easy. It's because I don't see anything below. So I'm turning this thing. And I'm not sure if the wind has any impact on this or not, but it is a real pain to, uh, to maneuver. So now I think I got it it's pretty straight. We're going to check out this island and the other one. We're going to keep the boat exactly the way we know where our island is. So, again, yeah, it is pulling to the left again. That is very odd. So maybe the wind does affect it now. I don't know. I have no clue. Or maybe it's just a real pain in the ass and mechanics need to be worked out. That's very possible. Uh, we'll leave it right about here. That's perfect. We'll hold left and it takes off the sail. And we'll go investigate this island here and see what we can find. Now, I'm not sure if we've been here or not. I did, we came off an island before. I'll know by the what we have left on here, but some islands are pretty much have but nothing. Um, but we'll know right away. I'll, I'll be able to see. No, this we've never been to because there's a there's a bucket here. We need that. That could be very helpful. Um, all right, so we're finding good stuff. We might not need rocks and stuff. We might drop stuff at a drop-off point over there. Crabs we could also eat. We would have to cook them on a stove. Uh, on the stove. On the stove, we're just going to build one. Uh, well, in a way, we are going to build a pit, a fire pit, where we can actually cook on now. Some people have mentioned that they, when they play it, it's bugged out, but we'll double check it. We'll test it out. All right, the tarp is done. More rocks. And if we have to, at least we can come back and forth. So we'll pick up whatever we can. Like I said, we're going to do a drop off. Uh, tarps and stuff like that will come back with us because those things are very hard to find and uh, sticks and stuff we can come back for afterwards. See little problems like this? This is hovering. This is definitely hovering. But again, the graphics-wise, it is beautiful. Uh, wild potato plants is good. There's some more up here. Uh, yucca plants, I think that would be pretty good for us to have. Another bucket again. Well, that's that's a lucky find. That's a real lucky find. Okay, so we're here. We just go C for craft. We do lashings, and we have all these. That's perfect. Now, I wish you could put a number right there. We can't. So we gotta do craft, oops, and I always do that same mistake, same identical mistake. One. Oh, I need four of them, okay. I'm sure we'll find more on this actual uh, thing here, so it's okay, we'll grab this one, you grab my lashing, and uh, we'll grab you two. 
Now, I suppose we don't have to. You can leave them on the ground and a whole bunch of little um, being neurotic about games that don't work. Uh, that are in this kind of thing. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. And the colors are absolutely stunning. If there's anything about this game that you can't say, it doesn't. if it doesn't look nice, then they have lots of problems they can actually work on here. They just need to really get down to the you know, nitty gritty and start working on this game and start getting us regular updates. Uh, even if they're small, do small updates. That's all I request. You know, it's, give us small updates. There are people who invest a lot of money in this game, and I think it, they deserve it. I really do. And I think this game deserves... Well, actually, for the guys who built this game, they deserve to actually give us something that they would feel proud of. And I hope they'd really get involved and start getting it done. Um, again, updates have been far in between, and that's kind of frustrating for people who actually have the game. They get disinterested. But, again, who knows? Maybe they're they're working that out, and they're getting their stuff done. Can't judge. Don't know. I don't know the answers are. I never got to speak to them. It's not like speaking of Cole Games, which is creating a game, and he's working really hard at it. I saw Yuka playing it. Or Yuka. 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 I don't know. I'm sure I'll get corrected about 18 times in that. But for me, it's a yuka plant. A yuka. Okay. Pick it up what? Stick, 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 stick. Stone, 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 stone. Okay, we have to go and drop some off over there. Doesn't look like there's very much else anyways, but... Let's come back and do a little drop off point. You can't ever take resources for granted. But I would like to go look for a... Uh, We've got two buckets. Can't say it's wrong. This is actually pretty good. Don't forget about the drop-off point for this one. Um, we do have... That's our island over there. Ooh, a little glitchy on that thing. Uh, we do have... Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. I don't want to swim back. I've done that before. Um, come on in. There we go. Uh, there's wrecks and stuff, and I really want to get into it, so... Make a long story short. All right, there we go. Let's see if I hold a sail from the other end. Is it easier? No, it still puts me like this. All right, well, we have no choice. Let's just look down and make sure we're, we're going in the right direction. And if we see bubbling and stuff, we'll have to come back for it, unfortunately, because we are full. Again, we want to get as much resources as possible. Whoa, lag spike, Jesus. All right. We need to move for it to turn, so it's not going to turn on any radius without it moving. So, unfortunately, we'll take a little bit around and start going towards that one. See, look, it has a mine of its own. Whoa, with the waves. I'm not sure if the waves are really the problem, maybe. But the game itself is really beautiful. Man, that water is pristine. Maybe I'm turning too hard. That's maybe what it is. I'm just doing slight moves at it once. Yeah, that might be it. Maybe just slight maneuvers. That looks good. Much better. Our island is pretty, well, it has a pretty large amount of room, so that's pretty good. That's what we were looking for when we first started looking for a place to build. So this is actually going to be the place we're going to build our base and stuff. But we need things from there. So, oh, wait a second. Maybe I can use a ship to get into a locker up there and see what's inside. Okay, we'll go and do a drop off. We'll get back on the ship right away. Whoa. Anybody who's seasick, please be careful. Look how pristine this water looks. It looks like I'm ready to dive in. Wow, this 970 graphics card really does do a good job. I thought it was nice before this game, but now it's absolutely insane. Okay. Don't go away. Can you sail away by itself? I hope not. We'll find out after these messages. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's see if the rain helped out too. And uh, actually, we went pretty far in, but that's, you know, smart move in case of water and waves and sh stuff like that. It did rain and it gave us one water. The amount of rain it came down, I believe, should have given us more, but hey, so be it. It is a game that's in uh, alpha, so we have to accept a lot of things that do occur. Okay, rocks. Let's move some more rocks over here. Rocks. Rocks. Man, we won't be running out of stuff. Well, we actually, it's not you. This stuff can take quite a bit of material, so good thing is we can build, and that's what I'm looking for, is for us to build a nice base. Um, <clears throat> but again, we'll explore a bit more. Today will be a little more about exploring and learning about the area, and after that we'll worry about the, the extra stuff. Oh, look at that, good lashings too. 
The uh, yucca plants on this island should grow back. I don't know the ETA. Oh, geez, this is something that, like this. This needs to be fixed. That is just ridiculous. Holy crap, that threw me off. Um, and buckets, these are very helpful. You, know, you can interact with these things. Uh, again, we'll use them for spits, but we'll put them right here for now. They should, in theory, not go anywhere. And we're going to go back to that wreck and see if we can actually get onto the top of it. These things here, these plants should actually grow back, hopefully. We've got enough wood on this island. We've got a lot of driftwood. We've got a lot of... What is this? It's like a pear, isn't it? What the hell? Is that poisonous? No. Should have brought up her water? It did a bit, I think, didn't it? Okay, I've never seen these plants before. That's nice. I think there's seeds in it. Nope. See, seeds would be pretty cool to have there. Here's our tire. Hold on to it. We'll push back. Oh, it does work backwards. If I go back, I can actually just do the contrary. Oh, it's really hard. Okay. It's not meant to be. Try to turn around and get right into this ship here on top. You see on top there's a chest? Uh, unable to get to it, I think the only way for us to do it is either building something there or getting up here. And I think this would be perfect. We should be able to reach this part of the ship. Let's turn it around. I'm just looking down because I have to make sure before I push anything. Okay, let's hold in this rack. I can see something. Yes, I can. What is it? Is that a flare gun? Ah. It's a the waves. They're pissing me off right now. It's hidden right behind there. You see it? And the movement of the... Oh, come on, just leave. Press E. Got it. Is there any flares in there? <laughs> I can't see. Nope, there's no flares. Woohoo. All right, cool. We'll test it out tonight. That's pretty cool to have. And then we'll go and check out the other wrecks around the area, too. While we're here, might as well do it. Might as well make ourselves at home and check the top of this one, too. Now, did we check the top of this? I'm not too sure. Looks like there's a bomb of ship over there. The hull. Yeah, I think we got that case there. It looks like it's open. Were we able to get on top of that? That was a question. I don't remember if we did or not. My memory slips on that one. There's another ship over there too. I didn't realize that. Oh, we did get that. All right, cool. All right, let's go check out this wreck over here. See if we can look at the island if we miss anything. Those pieces of driftwood that stand up straight. There's one right here. Oh, for God's sakes, would you stop? I mean, then again, the waves would probably move us around like that. We will be fishing and other things too. We can do a whole bunch of things in here. But you see this actually has sunk. You'll see these like gush of water. Is that a shark? Holy shit, that's a shark. All right, so there, we just answered that question. There is a, whoa, he's trying to hit us off. All right, that really, not cool. I wanted to look into this wreck. Just me, the days need to be a little longer. They don't seem to be very long. Yeah, he's trying to go at us. We're gonna need a spear or something to attack his ass. Uh, can we even craft spears? I don't remember. I want to go into this wreck, but I don't want to get killed either. So the question is, do we risk it? Oh, he's around here somewhere, and it's going to get dark. You know what? We'll come back when we get some weapons. That I know that shark took me out cold once before, and I'm not in the mood. we got to go and craft some stuff anyways. So we'll move the ship to the side here. Oh, my goodness. So sorry about the bouncing around me looking down. It's... If it's making you feel a little bit, it makes me feel a little bit yuck too. So um, I apologize. It's not easy. The waves are actually making it harder for us to maneuver. That's for sure. Because I'm barely moving it now, and it's swerving to left and right. Yeah, this shark is now attacking us. You hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. There's a sunken ship there too. But he's definitely uh, coming at us. We'll take it and we'll place it on here. Now, I remember when it first started this game, 
Uh, initially, when it was a lot of progress going on, it was the sharks would go through the ground and the uh, inside of your base and actually attack you. That was pretty funny stuff. All right, we'll, we'll jam her right in. Hold and interact. All right, you little bastard. Are you still around here? No. All right, cool. All right, let's see if we can actually do uh, weapons here. A hoe, a spear. So yeah, that's where I got to build. We're going to have to do basic for spear hunting for fish, and that's why I'm almost some crabs. We should be able to use that, if I'm thinking. A knife would be cool too, I guess, but I think a spear would be probably the best thing to use against them. Uh, we'll better start lighting our fire and start getting maybe our fire pit up. We have extra buckets, and we have the right things to go going here, so we should be okay. I mean, I'd like to find more of those fruits. I think that's pretty cool. If you ask me, that's pretty cool. All right, let's hold it into rack. Right, I'm holding. Am I not close enough? Do I have to rebuild this campfire every time? Is that possible? Do you think that's something we have to do? I mean, if that's something we have to do, I guess so. That makes sense. We'd have to place it, I guess. But no, it doesn't look like that's going to give us the option. So, I mean, in hindsight, that would be exactly what you do. So the fire itself cannot be... That's really ridiculous. I shoot the flare in that sucker, I swear to God. I only have one shot, though. Um, I am doing everything to interact with it. You can see that there's some kind of movement to it. The interaction is just not there. So I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here and you guys are aware of it. Uh, I mean, I'd love to know. Hobo stove would be cool. I need to get find that tank. Usually you will find those uh, as you explore a little more. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, water collectors there. Let's do a spit. We have more than enough stuff. And we'll get our bucket. It's so ridiculous. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying. Maybe it's per load. I have no idea. But I'm. Uh, let's go back to our lighter. It has to be something to do with the actual fire itself. You can't destroy another crafted item. Okay, well, that's good. Why don't you let me light it? Oh, is this a frustration level you're going to have to deal with in these games? It's okay. We should actually start looking at building something for next episode. We're going to actually start looking at base. Uh, maybe on top here or probably maybe in this landscape here. I think this is where I want to do it. Right here, about here. Just start up and bring it from across here uh, with a nice view. So it looks, it'll look beautiful. Man, that's bright. All right. So again, thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you like this and you want to see more of this, don't forget the like button. It tells me, first of all, whether you want to see a little more and you want to, uh, Oh, look at the water. You want to see a little more. And it's very helpful for us to find out. I mean, the water bottle... To find out whether or not you uh, you appreciate the videos too. So don't forget, anybody who, you know, you're going to see somebody on YouTube, don't forget the like button. It really helps out. Okay, we can fill this up and then drink. Just by left click. Okay, what does that do? F. Oh, water's back up. Let's do this. Okay, so we're at what? Three? No, no, no. Let's, let's cancel. Interact. We're still at three. And that was, that was pure water. I don't know what to say. That should have gone up a little bit, shouldn't it? Look at the water there. To, oh, I don't get it. That's part of life. Yeah, that's a part of life. Really disappointed by the fire. I know I've I changed my mind about ending it, but it was because I was hoping for this to be working. Uh, again, I'm hoping that it's just some kind of glitch for this one load. So part of me wants to stop and go and test it out. See, we have to go on a side here. Well, maybe we'll make a second fire then. For sake. Ugh, I hate when I have to do stupid things like that. Well, we'll make a second one over here. And, uh, we'll actually... Can fire a pit. Now you're making me waste resources. See, click. I'm not going crazy. You see, there's more wood in this one. Is this something we have to do? Do we have to pick this up. Um, am I missing something? Oh, drop the lighter onto it. There we go. That works. It obviously works. Right here, I can see it. And uh, yeah, it's kind of strange. Really kind of strange. Alright, so next episode, like I said, we're actually going to do it. And uh, we're actually going to just do this one flare at night. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. It's endless. Oh, no, no, it's not. It was two shots. That was it. 
Okay, so flares actually are good. They actually land. They take a while to sparkle, just like Marines flares. Not actually last a long time in the air like that. Does it add glow for a long period? It sure does. It seems like the glow will stay and boom, it disappears. It's nice. All right, it worked. Hey, we're very lucky. All right, so we're in episode here. When we come back, we're going to do a little bit of base hunting. Hopefully it'll rain and we'll get some more water. And uh, we'll drop this baby here. We don't need this right now. Into our little junk pile. And again, I think we got enough resources. Even that, we're going to start looking for more engine parts and stuff. It'd be pretty cool. All right, guys. Again, thank you. If you want to see a little more, hit the like button. I appreciate it. And again, thank you so much for spending time with me. This is Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.